Okay, so I uh, have all the pieces cut out and I have this uh, beach, uh, this, this chunk of beach um, block that I use for various things in the tin shop. Uh, I'm going to carve out some uh, depressions in here to form the uh, apples and the pears. And uh, I'm going to light the wood stove. It's a little bit chilly today. Let's get to it. When you're sinking a shape in sheet metal, you can use almost any depression, uh, the end of a pipe turned up, or a leather shot bag, uh, anything that will allow that metal to, to bend will work. Because I have so many of these, so many pears and so many apples to do, I'm going to go ahead and carve uh, fairly accurate molds, which will help speed things up. Both sinking and raising progress in the same manner. Here you'll see I do seven courses, uh, seven laps around the form. Uh, each one just a little bit closer to the center. Uh, you don't want to put your piece down and just wail into the center of the, of the form. Uh, you want to go all the way around the edge, get the whole edge completed, um, and then slowly circle inward. So here you can see all seven courses. And here's a pair. If you like, you can use a combination of sinking and raising. Um, I just put a little half round form in the vise here, and I'm using some raising to clean up the uh, major bumps and lumps. And just for kicks, here's one apple and one pear in real time. Thanks for watching.